Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I have my bookshelf Thomasville subscription to open. So let's get to it. All right, so today I was, I'm getting smarter and I have a pair of scissors to help me open this glorious package. Now, Bookshelf Thomasville is a, um, is a st bookstore down in Thomasville, Georgia, and they have a subscription service where you can um, sign up, obviously, and they send you books. Now, I have opted, because I am a teacher, um, to get the middle school subscription, because then I can put it into my classroom, and it just feels like a better deal for me, um, because if I don't like it, it's bound to be something that one of my students might like. Um, the There are other options there as well that seem wonderful. Um, I just don't know anything about them. So this is, it always comes in this nice little bag. And then it always comes with a note. Let's see. Oh, it's colorful. You can see it. Okay. All right. So we have a bookmark. Um, Dog Squad by Chris Grabenstein. And I hold a book of his that... Um, seemed a lot different than what I'm used to from him. This is a, seems a lot more like what I'm used to from him, but uh, oh, it says a new series from number one New York Times bestselling author Chris Grabenstein, inspired by his late dog Fred. That's adorable. Okay. All right, and then I get a postcard. So this says there's dad and daughter drama, a little bit of mystery, a grand old castle, plus a lot of food in this fun book. Love, I don't know. Looks like an A, a me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you like cooking shows, you'll love this. But oh my gosh, I love cooking shows. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I already said that it looks very colorful. I don't, you probably can't see the color through this, but I can. Let's see what it is. It is Alice Flex Recipes for Disaster by Rachel Delaney. Let's see. Oh, and we get another bookmark. This is the same. You can find magic wherever you look. Sit back and relax. All you need is a book, Dr. Seuss. For as long as she can remember, 12-year-old Alice Fleck has been helping her father recreate meals from the past. But while she enjoys their unusual hobby, she's learned to keep it secret from kids her age. Some of the dishes she and her father have made are more than a little weird. So when her father's new girlfriend signs them up for a televised cooking competition, Alice is unnerved. She has no desire to be in the spotlight, even on a cooking show that very few people watch. But Alice soon learns that she and her father are actually contestants on Culinary Combat, a new reality TV show hosted by Tom Truffleman, the most famous and fierce judge on TV. Everyone will be watching. And to make matters worse, she begins to suspect that someone is at work behind the scenes sabotaging the competition. It's up to Alice, with the help of a few new friends, to find the saboteur before the competition is ruined, all the while tackling some of the trickiest cooking challenges of her life for the whole world to see. That sounds so good. 
I have never heard of this author before. So that's really cool. Um, she's the author of eight novels for young readers, including The Metro Dogs of Moscow, The Circus Dogs of Prague, and Clara Voyant. Oh, I've heard of that before. I don't remember where. That sounds familiar, though. Oh. I wonder if this, this is an excerpt from the book. I think it says, Alice found to her horror that she had no idea what to do. And what's more, she couldn't move, not even a muscle. As the camera crew scurried around the room and the other competitors began making their cakes, she could only watch, completely overwhelmed and absolutely certain she was going to cry. And then she would be forever remembered as the kid who cried on TV and maybe threw up too. <laughs> this just looks adorable. I, oh, All right. And I love it when the chapter markers are labeled with something that has to do with the story. So we have like the little take one snappers. I don't know what they're called. I just think that's really fun. Oh, this is going to be a good one. I have, I can think of some students that are going to like this right now. Too bad I won't have them until September. So I have until September to read this and think of some more students that might like it. Happy reading. Bye.